Mr. Ambassador uh, and honored guests. Uh, what a treat to have you all here in Los Angeles. Uh, and I feel particularly proud to welcome you, um, given our Los Angeles uh, Countess uh, sister city relationship, because my great grandparents were from Countess, uh, or as my uh, grandmother used to call it, uh, Colton of uh, And so it's wonderful to uh, welcome you to your sister city. Um, I want to thank you all uh, for being here and, and allowing me to say a few words of welcome uh, to the Prime Minister. Uh, and I'd especially like to thank uh, Eric Stewart and the American Lithuanian Business Council for their work uh, in helping to put this together and all their great uh, work in Washington as well. I know that we're here today to talk uh, about the business uh, relationship and how American firms can uh, help look to Lithuania as a place to invest and grow. Um, but the business climate uh, in Lithuania and the rest of the region has been dramatically affected by events of the past nine months, and I wanted to touch on those very briefly. I'm honored to serve as one of uh, two co-chairs of the House Baltic Caucus, uh, and my interaction with the people of Lithuania, Latvia, and Estonia uh, through that role has given me a new perspective on the events in Russia and the former Soviet Empire. Russia's intervention in Ukraine its arming, training, and supporting of rebel forces, and its work to subvert the democratic government in Kiev is a daily reminder that while the Cold War may be over uh, and history, the dream of a Europe that is whole and free remains a work in progress. Uh, earlier this year, I traveled to Vilnius, as Eric mentioned, to participate in a conference celebrating a decade since NATO expansion brought the Baltic states into the Atlantic Alliance. I expressed my confidence then uh, that NATO membership and the Article 5 guarantee of mutual security would keep the vault secure, and that the NATO air policing mission and other tangible demonstrations of military capability and alliance solidarity would cause Vladimir Putin to consider long and hard any act of aggression against Lithuania or its neighbors. Events of the past few months have continued to showcase NATO's willingness to come to the aid of its eastern members, at a recent NATO summit in Wales, important decisions were made to beef up training and readiness deployments to NATO states closer to Russia, and the United States has been very important in helping to lead those efforts. Other steps, such as France's halting of the sale of two Mistral-class amphibious assault ships that had earlier agreed to sell to Moscow, also send a clear signal of alliance resolve. And so I, I want to say again uh, that Lithuania and its neighbors ought to uh, feel the full support of the NATO alliance. Uh, Lithuania is safe and open for business. Little that we can do as individuals is as meaningful in repudiating the aggression and intimidation uh, as investing in the areas that Putin seeks to destabilize. As the Prime Minister, I'm sure, can attest, American investment is not only an economic vote of confidence, but a political one as well. Uh, the Prime Minister, has been a member of the Social Democratic Party of Lithuania since 1992 and has served as party chairman since 2009. Uh, with multiple degrees in economics, Mr. Budaviskis was first elected to the Simus in 1996 and has served continuously since. From 2004 to 2005, he served as the Minister of Finance and from 2006 to 2008 as Minister of Transport and Communications. Uh, in the 2012 elections, Prime Minister won his seat handily and was asked by the President of Lithuania to lead a government and on December 13th of 2012, he took the oath of office as Lithuania's Prime Minister. Lithuania faces many challenges from energy to security to living, maintaining living standards for an aging population, uh, but I've been so impressed by the redoubtable spirit of the Lithuanian people who were bound for decades to the Soviet Union but still managed to emerge unified and committed to democracy and a free market. Uh, we all look forward to hearing from the Prime Minister today, uh, and I want to thank you for allowing me to join you uh, and have this opportunity uh, to welcome the Prime Minister, the Foreign Minister, uh, and the whole, te whole team uh, from Vilnius. Uh, welcome, and it's a great pleasure to be with you. Thank you.